went every time. That went on for years. Uh, so at Celtic Park time and again. I always come out against Celtic despite these cries about the uh, anti uh, no, all, anti other clubs for the Open against the Open. You can't say always. Oh, yeah, well, I can. Could I Michael, I can. Michael Absolutely. Can, let's quote the cup final of 19... 70 just before the European Cup final. Three appalling decisions against Celtic. Michael, are, decisions. Michael, are we saying that only a Celtic are the only team that get decisions against them? Appalling decisions are made against only Celtic and nobody else. Is that what we're saying here? Well, I didn't say that. Maybe, well, you're, what are you maybe you're saying that. No, what are you yeah. suggesting well, there? You've already said that, you know, when you were uh, a, a member of the board, mm-hmm. you said, well, we accept it because it's part of life in Scotland. Yeah. Referees' poor decisions are part of life in Scotland. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, no, what you see, you tried to put the words into my mouth. No, you question, said part the, of no, life in Scotland. No, the question that Kenny asked me was, did they get more than a fair share of decisions? And I no, said, no, yes, no, 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 that wasn't the first no, question. Well, well, absolutely was, you and said, that's the question. You said we had to accept it because as part of life in Scotland. What exactly do you mean by that? I mean that in Scotland there's a history of the SFA um, condoning things in other clubs that they wouldn't condone in Celtic. You know, you want to give me a specific example, something you never prepared to write about. Well, uh, give me the example. All right, the, the example is the fact that Rangers for decades were allowed to discriminate against Catholics and their playing staff, and not once did the SFA come out and condemn that policy, and neither did you. That's absolute That's nonsense, because if you remember at the time you'll be talking about when I started in the Herald, I did write about this policy. Frequently, I wrote about that policy. I wasn't, I wasn't surrounded by many who did. Now, it's utter nonsense to say I didn't. When, what and year of was course, that, Jim? Of course, frequently, in a Monday morning column, frequently, Rangers policy... Was appalling. It was abysmal. And was and it condemned ma- and, by the SFA? And quite some of us said that no, it wasn't. No, and absolutely. That's what, so you'll that's agree what, with me that the, hold on, you agree hold with on, me Michael, then that the discrimination on, Michael, bias at the SFA. Hold, hold Michael, on, Michael. Hold on, Wait, Michael. Jim, some of Jim. us did tackle the SFA over that. Some of us did tackle Rangers over that. Thankfully, it's changed. But we were talking about referees and the SFA. Incidentally, as you well know, Michael, I've been one of their biggest critics over the the last thirty years. But Celtic, I think, are creating the wrong climate. And by you coming on now and saying it's part of life in Scotland, that referees made bad decisions against Celtic, is complete it's, nonsense. It's, it's, it's ab- also dangerous. It's absolutely an anachronism. It's about as relevant as saying it was all right to send wee boys up chimneys. All that has changed, and rightly so, and it plays no part in the debate that we're trying to have, or Celtic indeed, are trying to have about their current relationship with the SFA and refereeing in this country. Now... Of course there are pressures on referees when they go out. And of course, actually, I would agree with you that there are premeditated, not premeditated, but they will look at people in different ways. You, when you approach someone, even if I'm talking to Jim Trainer on the radio, I'm going to have a different approach than I'm going to have with, say, Annie Maguire, because we know we're wary, we've got history. Of course that's going to happen. Of course that's going to happen with referees when they go out. But that doesn't mean to say they go out with a premeditated decision in their minds against Rangers, against Celtic, against anyone else. Go, every director of the old firm should spend the time being with a club down the division, whether it's a, a Clyde or a, or, a, or a Dunfermline or a St Mirren or whoever you like. Go and try and be a Hamilton Aki's director and watch the decisions that go, yeah, Hamilton Aki's did get decisions in their favour last night and I empathise with Neil Lennon last night. But that is not a premeditated judgment by referees in this country and if you think that's right Michael then we might as well lock up the gates and disappear over the horizon Well I, I didn't say anything about premeditated decisions um, whatsoever you, you um, have now ad- agreed with the fact that the referee got it completely wrong and I think what Celtic is saying when a referee, all right, when a referee gets it completely wrong if, if Lennon gets it wrong, he gets sent to the stand. He gets this ridiculous punishment. If referees get it wrong, silence. We don't. We don't have Willie Collins coming on this got, program. Got, saying, I got this totally wrong. I should have given Celtic another penalty. I shouldn't have booked this guy. It was clearly two no, no, yards no, 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 offside. No, 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 it wasn't wait, a goal. The goal. The goal we've, we've all we've admitted that actually yeah. we've agreed on is that the goal should have stood. I think we're disagreeing about the two sending offs, McAllister and Forrest. I still think they were sending offs. I think that the, the dive was not a dive at all, and it, it, it probably was. It certainly wasn't a dive, and it was probably a penalty kick. That I, that I agree. But I point to any amount of decisions in the past that have, in, have gone Celtic's, Celtic's way on occasions when they were playing other teams. That is the nature of the game. The ball is round. It bounces certain ways. But I think we also have to accept that... But, that you know, because it's so high profile now and because it has become such a, a major issue, um, I think that referees and the SFA should have to explain some of these decisions. If not, I don't, I'm not suggesting that they explain every de- decision every Monday morning, but 
in these games, if they are high profile and they are televised and they are written about and spoken about, then yes, I think they have to explain why they got the decision. Jim, why aren't we hearing from Peter Law right now, from, from you know, Dr. Reid right now? Why, why are they not we? coming out? Yes. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, if I were running a club, I don't know if Michael would have done it in his day, but if I were running a club, then I, I would say... If I felt, if I genuinely felt there was an injustice, I would say so and I would say why. If I felt that the, the decisions were going against Celtic or my club uh, too often, I would say if I felt it was for some, let's say, dark reason that's, that's got its roots way back in our shameful past, I would say so. But if I felt it was just because they are negligent, they're inept, they're poor, I would say so as well. And really, Celtic should say, somebody should put a name to it. But, well, but, actually, but surely, not... John Reid did say that about a month ago. He came out and was condemned for what he said. I think he Peter... came out and he made the point about Celtic not going to be treated as less than equal. We've done, yes, because, this has happened in the yes, past. It's not going con- to happen anymore. Because and he was condemning the same road that you're them. trying to take ah, so you, you want to end what he says no then. because yeah, I, exactly. think we, I think we need to be reasonable Michael and you're trying to you and John Reid as well was taking it down the wrong road like everybody is against Celtic because it's a, a, a club that's supported by lots of Catholics but not just Catholics but supported by lots of Catholics and therefore it's because of that that the referees are giving decisions against but that's what you're really trying to I, say I, I'm, think not, I, I think I'm absolutely not trying to say that of course that's what you no, and your type saying. are trying to no, say and you always have now, Michael over a type yes are because we? yes ah. you are no, because that's you're, to reveal what you, you think you, because you're a failed Celtic director that's what you are <laughs> yeah uh, thugs and thieves that's what the uh, Daily Record called Celtic uh, players and you uh, didn't disagree with it. Is that yes, you still I, stand yes, by that? I, excuse me. Yes, I, I did. I heard you on Radio Scotland yes, being very, very no, nervous no, about no, it, No, no, you didn't, Michael. You, oh, if, yes, you, did. if you heard Radio Scotland at the time, look, why do you try and twist things? Let's try and be well, honest. Thugs and thieves, here. that's not twisting let's anything. Try, Is that the opinion honest. of the uh, uh, of Celtic players? Hold on. Let's Trailing try and be down to Newcastle for the Christmas party. Michael, do not try to rewrite my history. I said at the time that was wrong, and I still say it was wrong. And I said all along it was wrong, as you well know. No, I don't know that. Please stick to the fact I think, I think the that. point the question you asked originally